The thought for today is a short passage in Luke 17, 7 to 10. And to be honest, when I first read it, I wasn't sure what to say. You see, it might appear that Jesus is being a bit discouraging in this passage. He finishes up by saying, when you've done everything you were told to do, you should say, we are unworthy servants. We have only done our duty. So I was chewing over how to approach it. And then I remembered a very small incident. And I'm not even sure why this incident stuck in my head. I think it just seemed so typical of the person involved. So I was coming into a church building one morning and I discovered the church leader on his own, quietly moving and organising the chairs. Now, those who are church leaders might feel that this is not at all unusual. But on that particular morning, it really struck me that the church had a caretaker, they had other staff, they had lots of the volunteers. But when this job needed doing, the leader got on with it. He didn't think himself too important to sort out the chairs. He didn't make a big parade of the fact that he was doing it when maybe someone else had been supposed to do it. And I think this small example helps me with this passage. Because people who do serve quietly and humbly like this are the most beautiful example of what Christians are called to be. And of course, this example is most perfect in Jesus. He washes his disciples' smelly feet. So let's not think ourselves too good for certain jobs. And when I do do what needs to be done, I shouldn't be looking over my shoulder to see who's going to give me a pat on the back. So today, even if your life feels limited by this lockdown, God is giving you opportunities to do what needs to be done. And he will see your hard work, even when no one else does. Have a great day.